Hello everyone, I am Sudarshan, currently proceeding my master's in clinical psychology from President College, Bangalore. As a part of our seminar, I am going to present a topic on goal speaks. So what are the topics I am going to cover in this goal sports topic is um, the subtopics are introduction what are all it includes uh, benefits as well as contraindicators people who are not advised to take these things in a very intensive way and the conclusion so starting with the introduction points what is a goal sport so in sports there are various types or also in a various way we can describe sports so here uh, I have taken a very uh, normally used top subtopic like goal sports. So here in goal sports it means where you have teams and the teams are play, playing in a manner that each team wants to score a particular goal and the opposite team also wants to score a goal. Maybe like many 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 of you are very familiar with basketball uh, football hockey ice skating hockey and many many games like handball which you guys have enjoying each and every day by seeing especially people who are particularly into these sports and so these are goal sports a few examples which i have just said so in coming up slides, I'll be talking about the benefits of playing these sports also. So this is the basic definition for goal sports as well. Okay, what all it includes? As I have mentioned in the previous slide itself, basketball, football, hockey, where um, you can see two teams fighting for uh, or else no more Um, these two teams will be playing a game to see who will be scoring higher points so that the one particular team will be winning and one particular team will be losing so each team will be trying to score a goal in this one in this goal sports and you have another type of sport also this is like a basic classification of sports Another one is like target sports. So in the target sports, you'll be having some targets and people will be aiming at aiming at uh, aiming at the target to put into it. For example, bullets. Uh, people like you have a small hole or small gap that you have to insert a ball and do that using a stick. Many okay, that is one of the examples for target sport. So what are the benefits of playing goal sports here? Uh, the few benefits I have included in this slides are like a, starting with kids early childhood itself like for example um, maybe you can take the age of 3 and of 4 or 4 also like in very small age itself maybe around 2 itself you will be absorbed below 2 or else around 2 itself you will be absorbing child playing in the ground with whatever, whatever uh, strengths the child has in his feet and legs with his hands the small play starts from there slowly it goes into the first grade, second grade, third grade so here the importance of goal sports or just take sports at the normal spectrum as of now Okay, so this is project play, which is done by a US institute, US based institute. So here what they have found using research is uh, kids who have regularly engaged in sports from their childhood. If you see in this picture itself, you can easily say people are like less likely to get obese in their late earlier in, in their late in their late childhood, which is like around um eight or nine years old that the possibilities of getting obese or else gaining extra weight above their bmi is very low and 
they have particularly scored well when they are compared to other students who have not very much engaged in sports. So here you can clearly see 40 percent of increase in their scores when you compare with other students who are not regularly engaged in sports. So this is like a one of a very good advantage of playing sports. It is helping them in a physical way as well as in an academic way also. So in the early adults uh, adult uh, adolescence um, around the age of like mid school and all. So some kids usually try and experiment with the smoking habits, drug use and all. Where people who engage in sports on a regular basis are less likely to develop these habits and they are more there are more possibilities that they are they may be going to school on a regular basis and lower level of depression is associated with a regular or else uh, people who engage in sports at least twice a week because of the hormonal uh, because of the neurochemical changes <coughs> which is like a um, feeling good of themselves after playing a particular sport and in longer in the longer sense um, after finishing their college and all the like people who regularly engage in these sports have may have a, a sound to eight percentage higher salaries than people who don't and in one side you have a higher salary incomes and on the other side you have a, a lower health cost which is like if you are physically active then why you need to go to the doctor it is in that way so physical activities like playing sports not only uh, improves in your academic way as well as in lower level of depression or else in some mental health issues it also helps in a way that it keeps you in a very healthy manner so that uh, you no need to go to doctor until and unless it is very until and unless it is very uh, in, in, a, in a very extreme way so here the physical fitness is also contributing to your healthness because of playing some good sports because of playing sports and you'll be more productive at work which is like you'll be having a um, higher level of life satisfaction also and this is not a only one way it ends here in your future you'll be passing these genes to your children so that they have that they'll be having a, a less genetic vulnerability towards cardiovascular disease and they'll be having a more um, lifespan period and you can see the highlight here active parents are associated with active kids or people who engage in sports regularly or uh, just imagine in this way or uh, you are a person who regularly engages in sports and after getting married you are also engaging in sports by seeing you your kids will also engage in sports like this is like a whole family is in a healthy way that's it so in a very specific way we, uh, we will discuss about the benefits in the Last slide we discuss about the benefits of sports in an overall spectrum. So here we will discuss in a very particular way. So playing goal sports or as in a team based sports um, has found a positive effect on your bone strength. So how, how how it is how it is on a positive effect on bone strength? The research carried by Walter in 2018 has explained as explained as how it is possible. So it has shown a more bone mineral density than people who who usually won't engage in sports, which means. Uh, people who engage in these types of, for example, you can take a handball or a hockey, that you will be having a, a very extensive stress or a pressure in your joints, in your bones, in your legs or in your legs and your hands. Like you'll be using a very uh, extensive way. So here, 
after finishing orals, after engaging in the sports, your body needs extra uh, energy, or else extra minerals and vitamins to compensate these things. As well as in the future, as a result in the future, you will be you won't be suffering from osteoporosis, for example, like the vulnerability of getting those things are very less. And another study which is focused on a fund of like very basic uh, movements, movement skills for especially for kids. A uh, research done on 2019 by Mr. John and Mr. Army. So, what they have found is playing basketball helps to improve motor coordination, flexibility, and endurance. It also in encourages a speed and strength. Here, what they have proven that playing a goal sport like basketball helps in motor coordination, especially for children who are at the age of uh, motor development around like for example if a kid is around six or seven or person or child in case in playing basketball not only helps in the physical development as well as uh, it promotes the proper oral system uh, pr promotes the motor promotes a motor coordination or its eye hand coordination of the child in a very good manner so this is one of the benefits and here when it comes to psychological or in a sociological way how it benefits a person it improves one person's self-confidence it reduces people's stress encourages team spirit and develop communication skill here everything is connected in one side develop self-confidence and increases so here starting with communication skills here as a teammate you, you will not be speaking for only for yourself you will be speaking for the team rather as a team you need to function well in order to win the game here you will be having you will be developing a better communication skill as well as your confidence will also be increased and as a result the team spirit which you have inside your team will also be increased so and you can un easily understand if one person is hurt, uh, hurt during the play the empathy towards that person also be understood it can be another way also <clears throat> okay also by playing goal sport on a regular basis, at least two or three times or in a week, uh, they have the research has showed that there's a significant uh, changes or as adaptation in your cardiovascular or as in your muscles, which is like your muscle growth will be increased or as muscle growth will be in a more adaptive way. Uh, your muscle will be get strengthened. These research findings are applicable to all person irrespective of their level of training. Level of training may differ from like a very basic at least 10 minutes a day it is like a very minimum to the time they have spent in the ground. So here, the last one is very interesting one also. Extent to scientific research studies have been simplified in the slogan. Playing football for 45 minutes twice a week. Best prevention of non-communicable diseases. Here, the non-communicable diseases they mean by heart attack, stroke, diabetes. So these are one of the major leading causes of deaths in India. At least playing 45 minutes of game, which is like a um, basketball or you know, football. You can take this football also. It is one of the best prevention of the non communicable disease. And coming up to the contraindicators here. Uh, contraindicators, I mean, by <clears throat> if you have these things, which are the points which I'm going to explain, you are very much advised to take. Uh, very much uh, 
advice to take tips from your family doctor or also the doctor or also physician before engaging into sports for example if a person has a chest pain or a chest discomfort before getting into the play the person is very much advised to go and consult a doctor or at least a physician then hypertension heart disease asthma heat related illness seizures joint injury so here if a person is suffering from any of these like there are many contraindicators i have mentioned very few here if you have any of these things you are advised to go and consult a doctor before getting into the play because if you have for example if you have a joint injury means like playing an intensive game may increase your possibilities of um, getting the joint injured more or else tear more or the damage will be increased so here you are advised to take a tips from the doctors before getting into the play so seizures or else asthma they are very much advised to take these thank you have a nice day